I, I grew up with two sisters and one brother. And when I evaluate, when I look at my mom and my dad, I realize that they could hardly, you know, be there for us. So, I know say, definitely, I would have to do what I have to do. Mm -hmm. Just definitely say, yo, you yeah, hear me? Me have to change the, situ the situation, yeah. And then, of course, you know, growing up, you know, I attend Charlie Smith Comprehensive High School, Maxfield Park Primary, and, uh, and Glen Garth Secondary, because at one point I was like about the place, because as you said earlier, my mom and my dad was incarceration. And so, you know, it, 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 it get even tougher down that part, because, you know, while I was um, living with my aunt, and of course she have our kids there, but, you know, when you look on a mother to a child, opposed to um, an aunt to a nephew, mm -hmm. you know, me I say it's like sometimes you just envy the, the love there, because there's nobody can show you that mother love. You know, you can have substitute, but to be on point, you definitely have to have the mother there, you have to have the father there. You know, me I say so. You know, you know those times, you know, bring tears, not just to my eyes but to my heart. So that kind of helped to build me. And my mom got into a fight, and she was at um, um, Fort Augustus. Mm -hmm. And I remember going there with my stepfather at, at the age of 12. And yeah, she did, I think, 18 months. Mm -hmm. And, I, and I, I went there with my stepfather, and they asked him, say, if he think I preach, because I wanted to see my mom. You were, you were 12? At 12 year old. And they must say, if he think he's a creature, so him, um, denied entry. Mm. And of course, you know, we stand up there and I look up on the gate. And of course, being 12, the gate are going to be so tall. And you, you know remember that say? vividly? Yeah. I remember that and I never lose memory of it. And I remember when I heard that I was going to perform at Fort Augustus. It's like those memories just came back to me. You said and you had I'm sleepless like, nights because you were so excited. Yeah, I was so, that, 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 that um, I can't even find words to explain because now I am going in there as a superstar. You know what I say? And I remember that my mom was in there and I was denied entry. And, and I am saying that, you know what? Me am going to go lift the spirit of the inmates them. Because I say, yo, this I have to do it. I'm going to go in there, go see in there because I've been locked out. Mm -hmm. You know what I say? I'm going to go in there. And when I go in there, and I don't remember which year, but when I go inside there, you know, that show was off the chain. But then it becomes a bittersweet because when, I, when, when, when the show is Finish. concluded, every, they're going back to their dormitory. And I'm like, yo, you know, for a minute I thought it was like on the outside. But again, I encourage them to stay strong because my mom was in similar situation. Mm -hmm. But again, that is a part of, you know, it helped to mold me to come to the realization that after I evaluate my mom and my dad growing up, I just tell myself, say, yo, you hear me? You know, say, I think my mom and my dad do as much as they could possibly Best do for me. So have. now it is me now we have to just take the button there and do what I have to do. So I just know that if I don't reach nowhere in my life, I don't have anybody to blame but myself. Yeah. Um, you spoke about your mom and your dad before the break. Mm -hmm. You lost your mom in 2013. Mm -hmm. Three years later, you lost your wife. Yeah. We all heard about that. Yeah. Like a month later, you lost your sister, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, but probably a month. At the time when my wife was sick, my sister was also sick. So my wife passed on, and then my sister fell on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And as a matter of fact, the day your wife was flown home, mm -hmm. they called you to identify her. You were supposed to be singing at the Prime Minister's inauguration. Yeah. What a day in your life. What a day. What a day. <laughs> Showed you the highs that you'd come to, and, and experiencing such pain at the same mm. time. Mm -hmm. Then you lost your grandmother yeah. the year after. I think it was the years. year after. And your, and your aunt? Yeah, my aunt. I think my aunt followed my sister. And that was the aunt that I was living with in Waterhouse and the gully bangs, you know? And, um, and my brother. And then last year you lost your brother? Last year, September. Nesbeth, how you deal, mm. how you process all of that loss and pain? Well, honestly, <laughs> 
I used to ask myself, oh, but then it was this time when, when, I, when, when my mom passed on. It was, I was trying to, you know, come to grip to say, okay, this is what it is. But it never really, it was taking a while until my wife and my sister, after break up and I said, no man, that thing gonna look too right, you know. I was really a go on. You know what I say? And we believe in the most high, so we don't really believe in the power other than the most high. So I say, yo, what is? And then we say to myself, say, you know, I question myself, I wonder if life will attack me. Because now if life will attack me, me now I figure, see what I can do for really put up a defense. But then I realized, say, long before I lost my mom, you know, people are lose their mother. Long before I lost my wife, people are lose their wife. You know what I say? And on top of it, I just start look on the brighter side. So let, let's say I lost my, uh, my mom in 2013. I lost my mom when I was a big man. Mm -hmm. You know, some people still are search for their mother. You know what I say? So I think, yo, I have more to give thanks for than to really bury myself in a sorrow. And then I have a race to run for my kids them and for my fans, them will go for love my music. Because mm -hmm. my day I inspire the world. I not just there I sing music because I put a plate of food on the table. Yeah, for a you know, I started off that way because coming from an humble beginning, they, they, you seek and search for your way out. But outside of it... I love how you evaluate it though. So you look at the time you had with your mother. Mm -hmm. You say you lost your wife, but some men lost their girlfriends. Never you get married. got to marry yeah, her. Yeah, and my sister, and I can, I can remember the days when we used to play together. We can remember we good and we bad time. We can remember so much more. So we just really keep that closer. Mm -hmm. So of course, darkness is there because a lot of people may want to believe that okay, you lost a loved one, so you climb that bridge there, you go over the mountain there. Such is not, mm. it, do, it do not go like that. It is, a, it is a load that you carry for the duration of your life. Now, it is how you choose to carry that ah, load sure. that is going to make it um, darkness or light. I choose to carry that load from a balanced note where I understand that they are not here because sometimes I'll drive and or sometimes something nice happened to me and you know, I just imagine so them could have there and tears just run from my eye. But the tears there are more likely to say, oh, yeah, you hear me? When tears of joy flow, sometimes it brings forth pain because I know where it's coming from. Mm -hmm. But outside of it, I still understand that, you know, uh, for me to stand up in the Gideon uh, and still I survive and still I go through, no, I'm not going to pop myself and mm -hmm. show like For your fans or for people watching tonight who have heard what you have gone through, mm -hmm. who are going through their own grief and loss and devastation and feel like they just can't manage, um, you are here to say. Well, because um, different people and the situation differently, mm -hmm. you know. So sometimes I don't expect you to handle it the way in which I can handle it because, you know, I am molded to handle my situation the way in which I, you know, I'm angling it. But what I would want you to do is just to look into yourself. Look into yourself, see how best you can seek and search and find somebody who you think you can pull closer to. And, and, and share it with somebody because sometimes when you have it bottled up in you, you know, it, it is more dangerous. You know what I mean? I said, just like one time I used to realize, I realized that when people greet me, like my fans, they will say, yo, you know me, your wife did go to school, or, you know, yeah. and it kind of mashed me up, you know. But no, me have to go sit down <coughs> in a corner and tell myself, say, how oh, me deal with this? Because I know the fans, them not really mean me not arm. Exactly. But no, how you balance that? So then me have to go sit down and say, all right, this is what it is. I know we'd have to face the reality. And, and, and I speak about it regular, you know. As they say, who that, me I talk about it. So I get so used to talking about it that it become a part of me talking about it. So it don't really affect me that much. Mm -hmm. So I would definitely, I would definitely encourage, encourage you, you all to, do, to, to find somebody where you, where, that can give you a listening ears. Mm -hmm. And I understand that sometimes 
when people are relate them problem, them don't really want nobody tell them to go left or go right. Sometimes people just want to talk just and want somebody to listen mm -hmm. to them. So mm -hmm. I would definitely ask of you to draw closer to anybody who you trust and believe in mm -hmm. and see how best you can reason with them. Maybe them don't really have the answer for you, but them can direct you to somebody who have the answer. Right. My guest tonight is truly the personification of the fact that what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And because his journey is so powerful, tonight's affirmation could have been about so many things. The power of perseverance, the achievement of dreams powered by determination and drive, the power of repurposed pain, and the possibility of passing through tough things and times and pushing through a seemingly impossible process. We all deal with things differently and that is the beauty of humanity. But the key takeaway tonight is that out of pain, can come joy, moments and magical memories, an appreciation of the here and now, and a passion for impacting lives and loving hard. We are stronger than we know. Nesbeth proves that. And it, he also proves that even while it's hot and it's hard, we are equipped with the tools we need to move forward from just about anything that life has in store for us. As he said to me, Acknowledge your past, but focus on your future. Glance your past, acknowledge your present, and focus, focus on, on your future. future. Understand the yin and yang of life, because it is in that balance that the beauty lies. And realize that in the end, that even with the downs, life is an upward journey, a journey of joy. And all that will eventually matter is how well we loved and how fully we lived.